We made our homes in the belly of the beast, the beast that devoured our ancestors and spat them out on the other side of the globe, that stole our gold and rubber, our skills and knowledge, our art and music, our history. It gorged and fattened itself, dressed in unmissable finery, and declared itself proudly the Empire. It saw its greatness in our puzzled eyes as we stared at the barrel of a gun from every corner of the earth. Its guns were needed still, we were told, to protect us from the socialists and communists. Capitalism, our enslaver for centuries, would liberate us one day. It bought our rulers and continued the quiet theft of our humanity and our dignity as it planted poison and bombs where once there was rice and diamonds. And then the virus came, silent, swift and deadly. We answered the call to the front line to confront this invisible enemy. We asked simply for gloves, masks, visors and gowns. As we fell one by one, we finally began to see that what the gentle ones had been whispering loudly had been true all along. We'd been feeding on the beast's excrement, unmindful of the fact that the empire has no clothes.